Well, welcome to my latest video on my top thousand countdown. This video, um, we go from numbers 970 um, down and down to 961 on my ever-growing playlist. <laughs> A playlist that will grow very quickly and that is very big. Um, so meanwhile, okay, let us get cracking straight on through with it. Okay, let us jump on to fight at 970 um, and see who the latest top 10 are in my top 1,000 countdown. So in number 970 is Samart Payakaroon, okay, former lowerweight champion. Samart Payakaroon beat three world champions in his career. Um, he had a total of five fights against world champions overall. And Samart Payakaroon had four world titles title fights, um, he made one title defence and Paya Karun had five fights against top 10 rated fighters, he had four fights against top 3 rated fighters but Paya Karun had zero fights against ring champions. Now Samat Paya Karun was top 10 rated for one year himself, that year he was top 3 rated um, but he was never a ring champion and Samat Paya Karun did have one fight against a pound pound rated fighter. He did not win that fight so therefore um, he has zero um, in terms of beaten pound for pound rated fighters. So Samat Paya Karun okay takes the first spot um, on this first on this latest video. And like I said, you know, I'll just reiterate, I'll keep reiterating one of the benefits of this is to shine out many names um, that people may not be familiar with, but going through my top thousand, there's gonna be many names in there who some people may hear for the first time or they may be aware of, or maybe they haven't seen them box for a long time and forget how good some of these fighters were. Um, but that is another benefit of doing my top thousand. So let us leave Samat Paya Karun in number 970, okay, let us go on to number 969, um, and we're going up in weight, okay, to um, Piet Cruz, okay, Piet Cruz, who beat one world champion in his career, um, Piet Cruz did have two fights against world champions overall, and in terms of world title fights, um, he did come in with three world title fights, um, he also made one title defence, now against rated fighters, okay, not a large tally. He had three fights against top 10 rated fighters. Um, he had two fights against top three rated fighters. Um, and Piet Cru did have one fight against a ring champion. Now he himself was top 10 rated, okay, for two years. Um, he was top three rated um, for one year and he was a ring champion um, for zero years. And against pound pound rated fighters in my all time pound pound rankings, Piet Cruz had one fight against a listed fighter he did not win that um so he has beaten no pound for pound rated fighters and at the moment i'm in the what video am i getting ready now 800 to 791 so you know um there's so many fighters to cover and you know when you do a top thousand like this you realize um you know when you're getting all these names and collating them into a list you know boxing is so huge and there's still so many fighters i could have added you know they're not being added uh, my main database drive is done i'll add maybe a fighter every three to six months uh when this is concluded i have other things i want to be doing um but yeah it's certainly my biggest work ever and will stay my biggest work after it's finished regardless of what i do so on to number 968, okay, we're coming forward to the modern time, okay, to Andy Lee. Um, Andy Lee, who beat one world champion in his career, Andy Lee had four fights against world champions um, overall. And Andy Lee, okay, comes in with a total of three world title fights. Um, you know, he was a world champion, he made zero title defences though. And Andy Lee had five fights, okay, against top ten rated fighters. He had two fights against top three rated fighters. Um, and Andy Lee had zero fights against ring champions. Now, Andy Lee, okay, who uh, kind of studied under the great Emmanuel Stewart himself, um, was top 10 rated for four years, okay? He was top three rated as a fighter for zero years. Um, Andy Lee was also a never, never a ring champion, so that is zero years. And against pound pound rated fighters, at the moment, Andy Lee has fought no fighters um, who have been pound pound rated in my all time ratings. Um, so, therefore, Andy Lee has beaten zero um, in terms of pound pound rated fighters individually. And Andy Lee, okay, retired over recent years, okay, and um, there's still many more modern fighters to come and be highlighted. They are kind of spread out even now um, in the early 790s, the early 800s, there's still more modern fighters crop up. Like I said, there's more of them in the bottom 500 and then a small selection um, in the top 500, but you'll see where they place. 
So on to our next fighter, okay? A fighter that um, we never really hear much about. It is Masibu Lelimake Pula. Masibu Lelimake Pula beat three world champions in his career. He also um, comes in with a total of five fights overall um, against world champions. And Masibu Lelimake Pula had two world title fights. Um, he did not make any title defences, though, so he's zero title defences. And in terms of fights against rated fighters, um, Make Pula had five fights against top ten rated fighters fighters he had three fights against top three rated fighters um but he did not ever fight a ring champion so that is zero now as a rated fighter himself make pooler was top 10 rated for four years okay he was never top three rated uh, so that is zero years and thus as well he was never a ring champion um so that is zero years and against pound of pound rated fighters okay make pooler did not fight any fighters um, who have been pound pound rated and therefore in terms of being pound pound rated fighters uh, Masibula Limit Pula um, has beaten zero so again a not very often spoken of fighter um, he's one of those fighters who's kind of drifted um, you know um, drifted and whose name will be forgotten except for places like on my channel um, and other channels out there so, number 967 is in the bag. Let us jump on to number 966 and we're going to 70s heavyweights um, to a fighter known as the Bayon Bleeder. The Bayon Bleeder, okay, who uh, famously fought Muhammad Ali, um, is indeed Chuck Webner. Chuck Webner beat one world champion in his career. Um, Chuck Webner had four fights against world champions overall. Um, and Chuck Webner did have one world title fight, pictured fighting the great Muhammad Ali himself. Um, Chuck Webner um, did not win it, therefore his title defence tally is zero. Now against rated opponents, okay, Chuck Webner comes in with 11 fights against top 10 rated fighters. Uh, Webner also had four fights against top three rated fighters and he did have three fights against ring champions. He did fight some great fighters, Chuck Webner. He was not a great fighter, but he did fight some great fighters and had a tough career himself. Chuck Webner was top 10 rated for a total of three years. Um, he was top three rated for zero years and Chuck Webner was a ring champion for zero years years now in terms of fights against pound of pounders these numbers down at this level you'll still notice are very very low but when we go to like 500 or above you'll start finding more guys with 10 20 30 40 or even above 40 okay those those pound pound um, fight totals do start rocketing up over time. Chuck Webner had three fights against pound pound rated fighters, but he did not beat any, um, so he's beaten zero pound pound fighters individually. So there's Chuck Webner in number 966. Quick drink. And we will now go on to fighter 965. Okay, and in 965th place is Robbie Pedden. Okay, Robbie Pedden beat one world champion in his career and he had a total of four fights um, overall against world champions. Now, Robbie Pedden had two world title fights. Um, he never made any title defences, so that is zero. And Robbie Pedden had a total of five fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had a total of four fights against top three rated fighters. Um, and Robbie Pedden did have one fight against a ring champion. Now, Robbie Pedden, okay, is a rated fighter himself. Um, he was top 10 rated um, for two years in his career. Uh, Robbie Pedden was never top three rated so that's zero years and he was never a ring champion um, so that is zero years and in terms of fights against pound pounders Robbie Pedden actually comes in with a total of four fights um, against pound pound rated fighters and of course I have all their records and who they beat or lost to um, but I, I keep it more basic for the videos just put basic stats on here um, but I do have an entire pound pound database with multiple stats and listings and everything in there just on pound pound records uh, must be crazy Robbie Pedden um, beat one individual pound for pound um, rated fighter in his career. So, me personally, I can't wait while we get to the fighters with stupid numbers on here. Um, and also, some fighters who you're not that aware of, like Sammy Fuller. Wait, what we get to is uh, that guy's resume is incredible. Meanwhile, let's go to number 964 to more recently retired light heavyweight champion Alexander Vodzik. Okay, Alexander Vodzik retired after being beaten by the dangerous Artur Beterbiev. 
um, who is to come in the countdown. But Alexander Vodzik comes in 964th place. Vodzik beat one world champion, and of course that was Adonis Superman Stevenson. And when you add Arta Baturbiev, he had two fights against world champions overall. Vodzik did have three world title fights. He did make one successful um, title defence in there. Um, and Vodzik ended his career with four fights against top 10 rated fighters. He also had two fights against top three rated fighters and Vodzik had one fight against a ring champion. Now, as a rated fighter himself, Alexander Vodzik was top 10 rated for four years. Um, he was top three rated um, for a total of two years and Vodzik was ring champion for zero years. And in terms of pound pound rated fighters, okay, Alexander Vodzik had two fights um, against pound for pound rated fighters and he beat one individual pound for pound rated fighter. That was the aforementioned Adonis Stevenson. And Alexander Vodzik had a very, very small career, retired after Beterbiev. I thought he would have carried on, but he retired after that defeat. Uh, therefore, his career score in the top thousand over time. A, the active fighters below him, Virgil Ortiz and these guys, they're all going to eventually overtake him. You know, in, in another two or three fights, they're all going to overtake him. So he's unlikely going to rise due to his resume in future. So next, 963, we have Devin Haney. Okay, Devin Haney beat two world champions um, and he's had two fights against world champions so far. Now, Devin Haney has had three world title fights. Um, he has made three title defences and Haney has had three fights, okay, against top 10 rated fighters. He's had two fights against top three rated fighters and Devin Haney has had one fight against a man who was a ring champion. Now, Devin Haney so far, okay, has been top 10 rated for three years. Uh, Devin Haney has been top three rated for two years and a ring champion um, for zero years. And in terms of fights against pound for pounders, Devin Haney has had two fights against pound for pound rated fighters. And he has won them both, being unbeaten, of course. So he has beat two individual pound for pound rated fighters. And Devin Haney, like many of these younger guys, Tiafimo, Ortiz, Ennis, all these younger guys down here, um, with Haney included, um, it's going to be fascinating over the next two and three years, um, seeing where they go in the ratings and where the fights they take and win or lose or titles they win or fail to win. It's going to be interesting how they rise up the ratings and you know how that journey progresses um, with the passage of time. All I'd say to them is fight better opponents, you go higher. So that is Devin Haney in number 963. Now we're going to 962, okay, to late 80s, early 90s heavyweight um, and a former heavyweight strap holder of the early WBO heavyweight title uh, before losing a fight, having his nose smashed by merciless Ray Mercer. It is former WBO heavyweight champion Francesco Damiani. Um, Damiani beat one world champion in his career and he had a total um, of three fights against world champions in his career. Now Francesco Damiani had three world title fights in total. He did make one defense of that WBO title um, prior to losing to Ray Mercer. Um, and Francesco Damiani had six fights against top 10 rated opponents. He had two fights against top three rated opponents and Damiani had zero fights against ring champions. Now Damiani himself, okay, was top 10 rated for three years um, in the heavyweight ratings. He was top three rated for zero years um, and Damiani was a ring champion for zero years. I said he was rated three years in heavyweight ratings. The ratings for heavyweights don't just go on heavyweight ratings, but I knew it wasn't rated in any other division, uh, which is why I mentioned heavyweight. So Francesco Damiani had zero fights against pound for pound rated fighters um, and also comes in um, having beaten zero um, pound for pound rated fighters individually. So Damiani was a good heavyweight, uh, not a great heavyweight, not a top elite heavyweight, but he was a good heavyweight, a good European heavyweight. Um, had some limited success prior to having his nose um, done in by May, uh, Merciless Ray Mercer Pitchard. So on to our last fighter, okay, on this video, 961, a fighter we never hear spoke about on YouTube anymore. It is former um, world champion S.T. Gordon. Now, S.T. Gordon, okay, beat two world champions in his career, and he had a total um, of three world champions overall. Now, S.T. Gordon had three world title fights 
Um, he made one title defence. Um, and ST Gordon comes in with a final career tally of six fights against top 10 rated fighters. He had three fights against top three rated fighters. And ST Gordon did have two fights against ring champions. Now, as a rated fighter himself, ST Gordon was top 10 rated for one year. Um, he was top three rated for zero years and a ring champion for zero years. And ST Gordon had two fights against pound pound rated fighters. And he did beat one pound pound rated fighter overall. So there's my latest ten. A um, little bit of a, a little bit of an update. Little um, message here. Of course, Gilberto Ramirez stopped Sullivan Barrera last night, uh, which raised a bit of a quandary because um, his his information's already been updated and his um, all time great score has been updated in the live list. I said I'd have, um, but his video is already ready. Okay, Gilberto Ramirez is already covered in a video to come. So when I produce um, his slide on that video, it will not include um, Sullivan Barrera um, in there, basically. Not that I think it would anyway, uh, but it would on his top 10 rated fights, but it won't include him. Just wanted to mention that. So there's my latest video. I'm out for now.